sock to hang in the breeze. This one only needs paper, card, some colouring pencil um, to create a beautiful Holy Spirit version. I'm Isaac, they finally asked me back to do another craft. Let's get started. So, today we need our worksheet which you can find at the link in the description. Some sticky tape, some glue, some coloured pens or pencils, some scissors, some paper streamers or crepe paper, anything with colour, and we're using some card today. First off, we got to colour in the worksheet, which we all know is the only part of crafts I'm good at. Next, we're going to glue this whole page onto our thin card. Uh, and cut off the top part of it to use as a handle for later. Next is the fun of cutting out part where we have to cut around the dove. Now I'm going to glue some streamers onto the back of it, at the bottom here. And now, I'm going to put some glue. <laughs> now next, we're going to flip the thing back over and we're going to glue where it says glue here. This has obviously been made for me because sometimes I don't know where to glue. Now, I believe what's next and final is the handle. I'm going to get our handle. I'm going to get a handle on things. I'm going to get my sticky tape back again. I'm going to put the handle on the inside and stick it across, kind of like that. So now, I've got a cool handbag, or a windsock. God wants us to be in his presence. God asked Moses and his people to build a special tent building called a tabernacle, where God met with them when they lived in the desert. For once Jesus came, God sent his Holy Spirit instead, so he could live with us in our hearts. Uh -huh. Ever made a windsock to hang in the breeze? We've had a lot of that lately. I'm Isaac, they finally asked me back to do another craft. It's only been like a year, it feels like. And we're gonna make me invisible right now. Stories of the Bible Moses and the Tent of Meeting 
This is Moses, Pharaoh, who was an Israelite who grew up in the palace of the Egyptian Pharaoh. When Moses was much older, God called him to take his people out of Egypt with the help of his brother Aaron. Let me hear God. After God showed his miraculous power in Egypt, he led the Israelites through the Red Sea and towards the Promised Land. They followed God, who showed Himself as a cloud by day and fire by night. While they were in the wilderness, God and Moses would talk in a place called the Tent of Meeting. Morning, Moses. Right, morning. Moses would take the tent and pitch it outside the Israelite camp. Everyone who wanted to ask God for something would go to the Tent of Meeting outside the camp. Whenever Moses went out to the tent of meeting, all the people would watch Moses until he disappeared inside. As he went into the tent, the pillar of cloud would come down and hover at its entrance while the Lord spoke with Moses. Wow! Inside the tent of meeting, the Lord would speak to Moses face to face, just as one speaks to a friend. And because of what Jesus did on the cross. We can talk to God as if we were talking to a friend too.